Hi, welcome to another rendition of Rod Talks. How are we doing today? Hello, Rod. It's a pleasure to be here with you. (laughs) It's a pleasure to have you here. This is awesome. Um, She's been a dear friend of mine forever and ever and ever. And um, I'm so glad that she's back in Arizona for now. And she's got so much information to share with everybody out there. And um, what is your name again? Kathleen. Kathleen McGowan. And she likes me to call her Kathleen Right? Kathleen. You can call me Kathy Rod. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Kathy Rod. So, Kathy Rod, how you been? <laughs> I've been well, thank you. Good. So, we just went and had lunch, and we just enjoyed each other's company, and, and it was really sweet that it's like, you know, hey, I got my new office. I want to uh, maybe do a podcast, and uh, asked her if she'd be interested in something like that. And congratulations on your new office. It is wonderful. I am so happy for you. Thank you. you, Thank you. You know, the the microphone does not do her justice. You know, she should be behind camera because she's so beautiful and that. So um, I just wanted to point that out. And you'll see that in the picture that I share with with you that uh, how beautiful the soul is. So tell me, what do you do in this world? What do I do in this world? Yes. That's that's an interesting question. Very good question. (laughs) Um, Rod, I've, um, basically I'm here to be able to help people. And, um, since I've been a young child, actually, I knew that that was my calling and I've been in the, originally the allopathic medical field and I transferred over to that to nutrition and natural medicine and then energy healing. And I've been doing that, uh, in speaking and training for about the last 40 years, actually. 40 years? You're not even that old. What? Yes, I am. <laughs> Good grief. Thank you, though. She does not even look it. So what does that look like, you know, in, in the real world, real world? What does that really look like, what you do? Well, I guess I'd like to answer that question from the standpoint is not so much what I do at first, but that there are so many people, and I resonate with this, um, that are just hurting out there. They're hurting, they're, they're suffering. Um, what kind of suffering? From all different aspects, Rod. From the standpoint of physical suffering, whether that may, may be just uh, struggling with their weight for many years, you know, with the, what's called the yo-yo syndrome, um, possibly with their energy, um, and degenerative diseases such as diabetes, et cetera, et cetera. Right, right, right. Yeah. But I've, I've learned in my own personal journey, and that's why I, I did it just switch over into energy healing and, and helping people find themselves because it's all integrated, the body, the mind, and the spirit. It's so important for us to realize that they are all integrated with each other. So although I have so many years of experience and in helping people from the standpoint of their, of their health, I've learned through my own personal journey in life that if if something or someone has shifted us out from being who we truly are in our life, that that absolutely affects our physical our physical health as well. So that's why I really basically integrate, help people integrate the body, mind, and spirit. So you're saying basically, if somebody had a trauma in their life. It can create some sort of illness in a person's body. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, in fact, I will I will go so far to say that I believe that, in my own humble opinion and from my own personal experience and professional experience, that when someone has a health issue, immaterial, if it's it's a situation where they're having tr- difficulty losing weight. Or keeping weight on, it can go either way, um, whatever it may be, um, that there it is always triggered by some type of trauma that has transpired in in their life at some point in time. So, so that looking at me, I I cannot keep weight on. I mean, I can't. I mean, I try so hard to to fat myself up, and I just can't get there. And I, what would you say I need? I'm just joking, by the way. <laughs> Come on. I don't do I don't do very good at jokes. 
<laughs> oh my gosh, we've been friends you, so long. You and... look, you look great, Rod. <laughs> you look, you look, you do, you do just very well. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's but, but, but so let's say somebody has, has a weight issue because of trauma. That so uh, I'm just my weight issue was after my heart attack. So mm-hmm. there was a trauma to my body, and I gained 35 pounds within you know two months of after the heart attack. What is some way that you can get it off really easily and simply? Well, I I wish I could say that there was some way to easily and simply get weight off mm-hmm. or to to help 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 a person in it with anything they're dealing with um, quickly and simply. Right. But the the reality is there is no one pill there's nope. no one magic cure nope. there's no snap your fingers um to, to anything to to anything in life mm, absolutely and what i do my, what my approach is rod when i'm when i'm helping someone is when there is a, a physical issue that they're aware, aware of let's say it's it's weight uh, and they're they're struggling with their weight or they have been struggling with their weight for some period of time the first thing I do is I, I would rule out from the physical standpoint, um, you know, is there a thyroid situation going on, et cetera, et cetera. Although I will say that everything is energy. Everything is frequency. So even if there is a thyroid situation going on or something with the pancreas, whatever that may be, we have to look at the root cause of that. Right. All right. So... Um, I would, I would have a conversation with, and that's what I do. I have a conversation with my clients. And do you conversate with them? Are their their organs? Are their body? What do you have a conversation with? Just hmm, that's specifically. A, that's a very good question. I have a conversation with them, meaning on every level. Right. I have a conversation with them, uh, them verbally communicating to me, and. At an even deeper level, um, I, I guess I would have to say that I've been blessed and gifted with um, an, an, an intuition that I can also feel what's, what's transpiring with a person. So you're an empath also? I am an empath, yes, I am. I didn't see that on your card. No, I didn't see it is not. <laughs> and it's interesting you say that because I, I, I absolutely am an empath, but I... So your work, your work is energy work with being an empath, but you're intuitive. So there's a medical aspect to it. So you're medical intuitive. You are a health. You understand health and, and uh, metabolical states of a body and that. So there's a nutritionist to this. So if anybody ever had to label you, it'd be, huh? <laughs> you you just do it all, don't you, honey? Okay, I got I stunned her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> I my calling is to help people. Exactly, absolutely. Man. And my calling is to um, start making her laugh more because she has not done that enough, and she's missed that within us the, our conversations and that because she doesn't laugh enough. And I have to pull jokes on her, and she just <laughs> looks at me like you're you're kind of weird, Rod, because she's been in this this world where everything is just black and white in a sense for a while and that right yes because you've gone, gone through some healing and yes your own healing and i don't know if we want to go down that path Not on yet. This i think that's your podcast, story but, a, but another time because there's absolutely. a reason if there's a reason for that but it's that very reason that allows me through the experiences i've been in that allows me to understand people so well and what they're Absolutely. going through and their suffering. Yes. And that's, and that's the part what I wanted to get to is because you have a story and this is a beautiful story and that's for another time. And I think she's going to actually probably share that later on. Not, not with me, but you know, maybe with the crowd and that, and you guys got to check her out because she's awesome at this. And, and, uh, there's some stuff that I think you should learn about this woman and, uh, uh come, you know, if she, if you see her, um, advertising her stuff that through my website or whatever else and that 
uh, come see her because she's amazing. That uh, you are an amazing woman. That she's gone through so much and she's come so far. And it's really interesting. Is I want to do something with her. So, uh, my listeners out there, if you guys come up with an idea that you would want us to do something together, that let me know in in comments or or send me a message or whatever else than that, because um, she is amazing in many aspects. Um, so let's get back to you, okay? Because that's my subject today is, is you. She's so beautiful. You should just see her eyes are just amazing. She she just so bright. Anyway, back to you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome, That um, You've got some really good background of educational and, and besides your experiences and life and everything else and that, uh, do you use all that background to help people out or in your, in your experiences then do you believe it's your background and your experience that helps the people the most? Yes, I believe it's my background. Um, my personal experience, my professional background, my personal experience and, and yes. And also being, being an empath. Mm Mm-hmm. Um, absolutely. absolutely. And, yep. and I do, I, I utilize, I call upon all, all of those are called upon right. when I help people. Yes. Yep. Yeah. And you can see that in your eyes and your energy and everything else. You can see that you reach out and try to, to help whoever is you're around. And, that. and she takes me on little trips. And, and the weird thing is, is that I fall into her energy sometimes because she is searching and helping and, and her energy is so beautiful in that I fall into it. And I saw it this, this lunchtime when we had lunch together is that she started going, where are you Rod? Basically, because she took me on this trip that of me seeing things and feeling things and things that I wanted to work on my own self. And that, that was amazing that you did this. And I don't even know if you realize that you're doing this, but that's part of your healing process of helping people is letting them see what's going on with themselves. And that no, not very really many people have done, ever done that to me and are able to take me on little trips and that I pretty well know where I'm at all the time. So do you even realize you're doing that? I, I do not. Um, but what I do recognize is that uh, I come from purity of heart. Mm-hmm. Yes. And um, without going into any detail, of course, we would not do that. But um, Rod and I were discussing a subject matter that had to do with possible heavy, heavy metal heavy contamination. Metals, yes, absolutely. Yep. And, uh, uh, and I was just being me. So I, I, knew, I knew by looking at your eyes and everything you had gone somewhere, but I wasn't yeah. quite sure what had transpired <laughs> yeah. there. I, I'm sometimes I'm not a very good lunch date because it's like you, you took me somewhere, honey. And so it's, it's, that doesn't normally help. And I'm usually here. And that so, but um, she taught me something today, which was very interesting. Is that even though I understand and see things, in that they are all not all equal. Even though I've worked with some people with heavy metals and that, I know there's different aspects to it. And to realize that when she pointed something out to me, that this person with heavy metals and that. I didn't even pick up on it until she started pointing the stuff out to me. And it's, and I've worked with several people that have had that issue. So yes, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's beautiful that uh, a person can do that. Well, thank you. And what I believe what I'd like to share here Rod, is that as we all, as we know, there's no two people that are the same. Absolutely. So you have someone that comes to you, to be helped. And let's say it is on the subject matter of heavy metal poisoning, but they don't know it. But let's say that that person, both from the body, the mind, and the spirit, is at, is at one place on their journey than another person that comes to you that doesn't know they have heavy metal poisoning, uh, nor, nor do you when they first come to see you. But they're in another place on their journey, both from the body, mind, and spirit standpoint. They could have the same type of heavy metal poisoning. Let's say it's arsenic and cadmium, for example. Even in the same amounts, let's say it was from a a bottle of contaminated water. But there's so many factors that are different between the two individuals, both from the body, the mind, and the spirit level, you know, the immune system, that there will be... uh, there will be a common theme of certain symptoms that each one of those individuals will have. But in many areas, 
those manifestations of the symptoms can also be very different. Right. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So that's, and that's interesting is that, but there's has, I believe that there's a karmatic or comma that goes with this. And maybe there's some things you're not supposed to see. And I think what, what interesting is, is that, you know, I, I've had things in my life, you know, friends in my life, that's like, gosh, I should have saw her heart attack coming. I should have saw this and that, but there's some things we're not supposed to see that. And I think one of the reasons that this young lady that I didn't get to see that she has this going on with her is because it introduced you. It, it brought you back into my life and we starting to, to talk about it and things like that, which is amazing. And I'm, and I'm so grateful for that. So there's, the universe has its way of helping people and putting people together. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's, it's so beautiful that we have that, that uh, we're in that yes. world. So is there anything else you want to share with us? You got something coming up, some cool stuff. Uh, what's, you know. <laughs> uh, well, first of all, I want to say I, uh, it is so wonderful to be back in, in contact with you, Rod. Oh, absolutely. You too, honey. And uh, I just, I, I'm so grateful for that. Yep. And uh, we both had our, our own journeys as everybody has in life. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and those journeys have now circled back around that we're sitting here right. with one another. Well, so it's, it's we've had so much fun together in the past, too. I mean, we've uh, we've actually did a, a, a CD together and and, and uh, yes. you know, that was a lot of fun. Um, she came and did classes at, at my beyond today, which that was really fun. Um, that was you're wonderful. A wonderful Reiki master. You are Rod. Oh, I thank you so much. Uh, I, I think, I think you took my class. I can't remember. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. She, she, um, is amazing. I, I mean, we've watched each other grow in many different ways and I'm always honored to have her around and hopefully there'll be more of this that we can just sit and chat and talk about certain things. And you guys, if you have anything that you want to, to know or, or, you know, want us to talk about or anything else, send me a message and uh, I'm sure that, um, uh, we can figure out something and I'd love to have uh, Kathleen back. I mean, anytime she's, she's more than welcome. Um, so if somebody wanted to get a hold of you, is there a special place or a thing that they can get a hold of you and see what you are doing in this world? Yes, that would be wonderful. Um, again, I'm Kathleen McGowan and uh, my website is uh, bouldersoflife.com, bouldersoflife.com. And uh, my contact information is right there on the contact information on bouldersoflife.com. Good. And, 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 and they can always reach me through you. Right. Absolutely. Rod. That uh, Or you can go Kathleen at bouldersoflife.com. That's your email. That might eat. Yes. Absolutely. They can get there. Bouldersoflife.com. And uh, it's you get to kind of read through some of the stuff that. But um, um, be aware that there's going to be a some sort of get together that we're going to be planning here coming up and you know it may have to do with health and spirituality so that would be wonderful be kind of yes. fun to to see what's going on here that um, again this is rod talks and my beautiful beautiful co-host here right today for today is kathleen and she's amazing i love her to death um love you and too, rod. appreciate you. her being here in that so you guys have a great day now ReikiRod.com. <laughs>